episode 20 this is a portfolio manager <coughs> coding session series and today we are going to try to debug the code that we have written for the portfolio manager so as to refresh our memory by the way that is exactly what we tried to do before but we had some bugs to fix so here we are again um, and now we're going to try one more time. Okay, so first I'm going to run this task again. Go to the UI. And with all this uh, fix it so far we will debug this task, okay? Okay, so then we're going to run from here. And this means this breakpoint. Okay. So now the session is executed. And this is the next problem. So we have this portfolio system now. Manage assets. Okay, session parameters, manage asset. This is essentially mm, undefined. So manage asset. Okay, and I know why, and it's because I corrected the the schema that incorrectly was was having this with only one s uh, in singular. So there are many places where this is used in this way, and I'm going to fix them all at once. Okay, so here we usually have a dot. Hold on. Okay. So this is going to be my fix. Going to apply it. And run this again. Then we're going to come here debug and run parent has not running I think that I'm <laughs> I might be fixing that bug too Okay, so finally we have here our own arrival to the portfolio simulation. So we are finally here. Okay, so let's go through the code and see what is going on here. Okay, all this is standard stuff. We have the candles of one day. Uh, at some point we have initialized, probably already did here, the events interface module. 
ok that is a module that we're going to load it here ok I don't need this comparison but I need the module here to refresh my memory so this module when we initialize it we were waiting for the events of any of the sessions that are being managed okay by this bot so this is running and if something is coming through this through this stuff then it's going to be sent in this direction sorry Okay, so there is something that is incorrect because I hit the wrong key. Okay, so then the execution comes over here. Okay, and that this is how this events enter into portfolio management portfolio system object okay that is this guy and then so we have this guy that have this function, configure this event, set this event, configure this formula, set its formula and in this way this go to this guy, portfolio events manager or formula manager okay portfolio events manager, but I'm going to do this, I'm going to put this down here because this is the events interface this is the trading bots interface okay and from here this can go to this module but this module is already done the is this guy this is where the synchronization happens okay and it's already done and the other route it can take is through the portfolio system here and there enter the portfolio formulas manager and portfolio events manager okay So, <clears throat> I'm going to switch back to my Super Algos, this one, because I made a bug fix, but fix it. Okay. So uh, I got this setup done well now. Confirm this event. 
set this event and that's it and the same with the formulas confirm this formula set this formula and that's it then we got the portfolio system okay Well, condition one formula. Okay. Portfolio session. We don't need you. <coughs> Portfolio simulation. Okay, we got everything now. <coughs> okay, so I need to discover if field set up any more code where did he do it this is part of what is running at the trading board portfolio manager client this and this these are running at the trading board Okay, so portfolio system, portfolio record, portfolio process. What was this? Okay, I know, and it's nothing that we should. Okay. So my first question here is if this is the portfolio engine but by the way I would like to put it somewhere else um, my position so next time this is going to load there all right um so manage bots okay so i really would like to know where did phil put the code of um the balances exchange manage assets Change manage asset. Let's find that string. <coughs> X change mana So I don't see where is where did he put this. So give me a second. Oops, I closed it. I closed the UI.
Okay, sorry for the disruption. Uh, this is loaded again. So, give me a second. Um, where could be the code from this stuff? Um, portfolio. Okay, so at least I'm going to make a list of the things that I need to do. Okay. Um, then I would ask Phil if he already done, if he has already done any of these ones. So in my current list, set, the candles at one hour are not the same between portfolio and trading bot. So there is a bug, a synchronization bug. Going to take notes again. There is a sync bug when the PM bot does not start at the same day than the trading bot. Okay, that's one thing I we need to do to fix. Another thing we need is another thing we need to fix is not to fix but to implement is this. We have manage asset here. Okay. And we need at the trading engine, at the portfolio engine, to have to have manage assets also here in this sense, manage assets. Let me check this out. Exchange money asset. These have children. Well, there is a there is a problem with this guy because if you delete one of these children, then you cannot create more is unfortunate um, so I might fix that too probably now So, the issue is, okay, I will write another issue here, exchange money asset and missing children feature missing. Okay. okay, another thing I need to do is for each manage asset at session parameter, 
we need to populate the information here we need to we need to a retrieve the initial balance okay b fetch the current balance the fetch the free locker and total balance at each candle okay so this is the management of this stuff and it's a whole issue by itself okay four What else? Manage trading bots. Manage trading bots. Okay. This is point number four. For each manage trading bot we need we need to set the value for the managed trading bot node of the PM engine and probably setting some kind of name or something maybe their name or the the name of the trading bot okay yeah, their name as a value okay also This is A and B. We need to receive receive from each trading board at the checkout message its own trading engine so that we can attach it to the manage trading board engine okay so that is what is going to allow us to have all the trading engines of all the bots that are being managed here and by and enabling the possibility of using any of those values in formulas here.
Okay. So I don't know if I need to put this if I need to yeah I will need to put the oh this is an interesting problem to solve here how am I going to fix how, how am I going to implement this but essentially it's going to be the most powerful feature of all this having all the information of all the bots available there might be also some kind of synchronization that needs to be done because I don't want a bot I don't want it to depend on the order that the bots provide the information And because there's, I'm not going to keep this current and last, or maybe I will. Let me think about it. Hmm. Um, the reason I want to think this deeper now is to see if I need to change this node money trading bots from there into the root of portfolio engine or not um, so how this works portfolio manager runs its code and then it opens the window for check-in each trading board is trying to check in but when the window is closed they cannot check in so when the window is open then they start checking in check-in means that they are going to be sending requests for the different conditions they need to ask questions and when they finish they're going to make a checkout okay so with the checkout they might send their portfolio engine they are trading engine and once they send their trading engine, I need to store it here. Okay, so at the next candle, the portfolio en engine is, portfolio manager is going to be running some code, and then it will enter into the window where people can ask questions. And they will be evaluating formulas with the information of all the trading engines okay uh, so okay so what I'm going to do is that 
when in the, at the checkout I'm going to store the trading engine in memory and wait for all the checkouts when all the checkouts are are in then I'm going to move forward and apply this to the portfolio engine so that is ready there for the next execution because I don't want the rules of the question that some trading bot is asking be dependent on the order in which the portfolio engines are received okay so that means that yeah I know how to synchronize that the next problem the next question is if we are going to have a copy of all this and most likely not it's like we are not going to have a all the trading engines under current because they are not even current they are like from the previous candle so you can see the end state of all the trading bots at the previous candle but not at the current candle so um, what I'm going to do is to move this node I'm talking about manage trading bots from portfolio current into portfolio engine okay so I'm going to move that there and fix the missing admission children from this guy okay so that is going to have things clear and with the engines of all bots and the balances we could say that that could be version one of portfolio manager it notes the balances at the exchange there will be another issue that is how do we simulate the balances okay so the balances stuff is going to be a little bit more complicated because you need to know how do we simulate balances when we are back testing okay if you're not running live then that means that we don't have the exchange key to get balances and we don't even want to because if we are back testing from without a last year exchange is going to return the balance of right now so and also because we are not trading live these balance are not going to change so simulating the the balances over time is not really simple because that means that we need to be aware of the trades that each bot is making and so far we are reporting only we are only reporting uh, questions and at the checkout yeah well from from the trading engines we might extract the balances or the, the balances of the simulation of each of these guys and can use them into to simulate the balances instead of going to the exchange but it's not kind of trivial trivial stuff okay um so yeah okay so let me let me make these two fixes 
I'm going to move this. So I need portfolio current. I'm going to use this um, project here. Clean it a little bit. And we are going to look for portfolio manager, portfolio management schemas, and portfolio current. This guy. So this guy has manage trading bots, which should be a child of portfolio engine. Okay. So this guy should be a child of this guy. So we're going to disconnect this and put it there. Then we have this problem that is that exchange manage asset exchange manage asset does not have an ad missing children so exchange manage asset we're going to put you an ad missing children. Okay. So I'm going to reload this. Well, this is this is worthless because Anyway, this is a plugin, so it's going to reload all, or maybe not. But in any case, it doesn't matter. What happened with this plugin file that I added here? It's just that I didn't save it. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So if I delete this guy, 
I can have it back. Okay. Okay. So we're going to save this and look for mm. So we will replace this guy with a new one and All right. Okay, so finally we have our engine here. And it's organized in the new in the new way. Perfect. And Okay. So we are not going to go much further today. I will wait for a field response of where exactly the code is because I cannot really find it. The code to fetch the balances. Um, okay, here is a fetch balance function. So maybe from here I can I can pull it out. Okay, so where do we have fetch balance? Okay, so here I got, okay. Okay, so there is some code there, here, that I need to check. So every time... Okay, there is a distinction between back testing
Okay, so it seems that there is some misunderstanding on the concept of current and last here. Uh, because the, the balance of the last are copied here, and that is not the way things work. Uh, current in our context mean um, whatever is in there belongs to the current candle. So the last, uh, the last section section is everything that happened in the last candle in the previous candle. Okay, so this is this is not going to work this way. Uh, but here we have balances. So how, how is supposed this to work for manage assets? Okay. What is this? I don't like this code down there. Okay, so it's at the end of the initialization. It's fetching the balances. Backtesting portfolio session. Okay. So probably not. Probably it's not there. There is some f initial fetching that needs to be done, but I will have to figure out where exactly. Maybe maybe it is on the initialize, but no, it cannot be because it's. At the, uh, it's at the beginning of the of the episode, not at the beginning of the initialization of the portfolio system that is initialized at every candle. So no. Um, so I will remove this because this is not going to be possible there and then the fetch balance <clears throat> we will run this yes probably at every run but this thing's distinction most likely is going to be done inside somehow so I'm just going to move this like here but anyway uh, all of this needs to be redone so no worries for that um, so we are going to finalize this episode now uh, with the knowledge that we have three main tasks the fix of the bug the management of the balances and the management of the pool of the of the engines information okay 
All right, most likely going to do the edges information first and then the balances. Okay. Um, okay. So this is all for now. Um, at our next episode, I will focus on fixing the bug so that there is no bug we can code over something that is actually working. Okay. So thank you for watching. This is all for now and see you at the next one.